coming up this week on Stage to the Cage. I understand I'm not a fighter, and fighters are going to be watching, so I want them to know that I've put work in. I'm not a small lad. I've got plenty of strength. I can put somebody into a pretzel pretty quickly, but he's there being pretzelized, but he's cool as a cucumber. It's like I've done boss level. I mean, you know you're going to die. You just need to last a little tiny bit longer. <laughs> My dad never even got to see me on TV. He never got to see me do The Jungle, which was his favourite show. He never got to see me win dancing on ice. Losing a dad at any age is hard. Props to him. There's not many people that do it, so fair play to the kids. Ah, come on. 10, 70, 30 more. Fuck off, you f you have, you're doing hundreds, you're funny. Go. Let's go. Ah, one more. Move it. Move it. 10, hold you. Fuck off. Time is a commodity. It has value, and the more successful you are, the higher the price you can put on your time. Now, it's fair to say that these two guys, their time is pretty valuable. They have huge commitments in their career, they are both family guys, and in just both of those areas is where they want to invest their commodity of time. But in mixed martial arts, the highest tax you must pay is time. Time in the gym, time on the mats, time to recover, and time to do it all over again. When you embark on this journey, you are already in debt, lots of debt. And these guys are now fully aware of the price they will have to pay to make this happen. I'm not sure what it is about our perception of celebrities, but we almost think they're superhuman. The truth is they are just people with feelings, with emotions, who can have the problems and pressures just like us. The ones that we face, but also on top of that, their other obligations. And now an MMA fight as well, again, they are just people. They can have good days and bad days. I'm finding it so hard. I'm really bad at organising things. So juggling work, training, but then when something goes wrong and I ain't got a car and then my missus is also working and then we've got to go to London and then I've got to drive here and there and everywhere. It's like, it's just hard to organise, man. I'm just having one of those days. Just have a good moan. But a good train always sorts me out, so I did gym this morning. And I'm down to 88 kilograms. Only 11 to lose. Woe is me, guys, woe is me. I'm not gonna moan, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for life, I'm grateful I'm breathing. I'm grateful I'm training, I'm grateful I've got a house. Sometimes it's just shit, innit? I understand I'm not a fighter, and fighters are gonna be watching, so I want them to know that I've put work in. Like, I'm not taking the piss out of the sport. No, my body's fucked, mate. My body's fucked. My back's fucked. My groin's fucked. My wrist is back hurting again. My finger's still fucked. But everyone in this gym's fucked. But, ripped. Shreds, bro, trot. How are you, mate? You good? Good to see you. You're in good shape, man. Get in there, bro. Not as big as you, but... Get out of here. Look, look at you. you got boulders on your shoulders. <laughs> Looking wicked. What are you waiting at the minute? 88. 88? Yeah. I remember when I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> He's strong. At one point, I thought my back was going to break. I did you? I was like, this doesn't feel great, you know. Mate, you got way up in there. Straight away. So his little forearm. Yeah. <laughs> little chopsticks. Mate, he's a beast. He's a beast. I think it's the funny thing as well, because you're... 
I'm not a small lad. I've got plenty of strength. I can, you know, put somebody into a pretzel pretty quickly. But he's there, being pretzelized, but he's cool as a cucumber. And that is, it's a skill. It's a proper, proper skill. And it's, it's learning how to control the body, but also use your opponent's body and their movements against them. And he's, mate, he's getting it. He's proper getting it. <laughs> Light work, baby. It's good, man. Need that test. Constantly testing. Don't want to choke, get choked out, don't want to submit. We fight for positions. I saw the Fizeman and I thought, if he's holding this choke for longer than 30 seconds, he's got to be stopped. But it's the thing, I think that's an interesting thing about this game. Is you can be the biggest guy in the room, but it's up here. Beautiful shot again. Get a glove, get a back and work. I came here all stressed today and then as soon as you step on the mat, there's nothing else really matters. Boys from the Ice Bath Co turned up. He's an absolute beast, isn't he? I reckon his beard weighs more than I do. Um, but yeah, got a little roll in with them. I honestly think anybody that hasn't joined a gym, a jiu-jitsu gym or a kickboxing gym, they need to do it because it is amazing for your head, amazing for your health. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm 35 years old this year. I'm in the best shape of my life. Like, everything's changed. I'm in a routine, stronger than I've ever been. Now I've got to go home and I've got about 10 interviews. My car, like I said, is broken down, so I need to take that into the garage. The RAC's picking that up at half two. So I've got to get these four interviews out of the way. Hopefully make a bit of steak. I think Leo and Sofa are at home, so they'll be running ragged. Might just stay and do another hour's training, actually. <laughs> Oh, well, you have to go on, people. We're going to do an hour of, well, an hour and a bit of grappling uh, in the chapel. And then off to see Andy Houston to do some Thai boxing. Um, volley that little hobbit about for a bit. Standing guard, bicep control, elbows in, control the hips. Okay, you're gonna sit, posture. Okay, you're gonna sit, foot to the hip. Push and push. So, my fin see my finger? See my finger? Push his leg, there you go. Ah! You <laughs> see the toy? You see your arm? I'm gonna see you, <laughs> Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. Elbow and knee. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah. At least one eight, I'm like, I'm working it. Yeah, it's not him, mate. Oh, not him, Told me to see you empty on camera. <laughs> bleep that out, Josh, bleep that out. Sorry, guys. Betty, Betty can't do it again. Oh, he's so strong! Oh, oh God. Look how slow he moves. Oh, he's pulling me slow now. Oh my god. I don't know why I like it so much. <laughs> Today it's all about uh, passing guard, guard passing stuff and uh, some pressure stuff and then a little bit of retaining guard, picking on Paul. Uh, we've not worked on a game plan so much. It's all about skill acquisition at the minute for him and just getting him used to uh, to fighting really you know we've got to you know it's not easy training all the time and, and having to it's not there's so much to consistently and constantly learn in martial arts and MMA as well as trying to get him ready to fight I've wanted to have him build up a part to his game that he can feel confident and comfortable with fortunately for the likes of, of Paul he's very used to fight or flight being in that state so you know, these are things that aren't going to be a panic or a worry on the night because he feels that feeling probably four times a week. 
you know, it's very demanding, it takes its toll, but he's used to them kind of feelings every time he's stepping on the stage, so. Yeah. Yeah. They're the old bagging transformers then! Yeah. They are being a bag of transformers, are not they? I said something disrespectful about transformers. He's going for a game, he's like shit. The new one for his brand? Oh, you bet, you bet, you bet. Yeah, it's amazing. He's stuck in a corner now. I'll tell you what, Some man. shit houses in here. Transformers the movie me? is the best <laughs> film. Oh, you're trying to think, you're trying to make <laughs> it all right now. No, I mean them do movies, aren't they? Star Wars is shit as well. Right. <laughs> 20 minute rounds! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Where's Optimus Prime when you need him? He is a fucking Transformer. <laughs> 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 it's always fun grilling my clamp because he uh, <laughs> tickles you and fucking grabs your nipples and shit. You can see the way he's moving and the way he's thinking, and most, most of you can feel everything, which is the main thing, do you know what I mean? He's great. He's uh, putting in the work. When you do something enough, you get good at it, and he's a product of that, mate. He's doing incredible. I made up with him. Oh, that's tough. Ah, first session done. Some tough rounds there. Don't have to be picking on me though. <laughs> when you got Tom or Clamp on you, or Sam, like, you just, you, you, it's not, you don't want to call it panic, because you're like, you're not like, you're, your heart rate's not going mad, but like, you get so flustered because you, you just do not know what to do. And it's just uncharted territory and everything you do make it worse. So we're kind of, yeah, I suppose it is panic. I suppose it kind of makes your brain go fucking hell, what's happening here? It's not necessarily, like, you can have all the technique in the world and, like, all the skills and be as fit as you want, but if you can't stay calm under that kind of pressure, then you're just fucked regardless. So, just, yeah, it's about being in that position, I suppose, which is good, because, as you can see, I'm in that position every single day. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, 110 kg. Norwegian. He wasn't Norwegian, but he looked Norwegian, didn't he? I choked him out twice. Yeah, he's big. He's nice, though. He's like like the friendly green guy. Can, can we just rewind? <laughs> I, I choked him out twice. Mommy, mommy. Oh. I beat him. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm half asleep today. I'm still really jet lagged. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Yeah, he just said Excuse me. Uh, uh, and, 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 Tom. Okay. He's my son. Okay. A mess. A mess, yeah. Who made this mess? Mummy. Mummy. Mummy made the mess. Mummy made the mess? Yes. Uh, it's missing. Is it missing? Yes. How much better is he talking? Uh, it's mad, isn't it? Right, Daddy's gonna go do his calls now. Give me a kiss. No. Give me a kiss. No. I've got to go, baby. I've got an interview with Lad Bible, um, just about health and fitness and men's mental health and stuff like that. And then I've got an interview with the Daily Star about fitness and mental health. And then I've got a podcast with Jenny Faulkner, um, just chatting for half an hour about how fitness can impact your mental health. So it's quite a lot of mental health stuff. Not not becoming an ambassador, but it's something that I'm quite passionate talking about, um, especially getting into more fitness and doing and doing the fight and stuff. It has a massive impact on kind of how you react during the day. If, you've, if I've trained, I feel much better. And especially having kids as well now, like you're the same. It's, um, it's important for them to know that they can talk about their mental health if they've got a problem, if they need help. Um, so yeah, I like doing it. So yeah, got three interviews, get these done and then go sort my car out and then potentially back training tonight. But at the minute I feel Daddy. quite broken. Yes, baby? Superpower. Your superpower? Mad. <sighs> Let's go. Losing a father figure was really hard. I was 19 when my dad died. So it was quite a kind of pivotal moment. I, I kind of just finished my teen years 18 going out and, and kind of finding myself and then the one person that you kind of rely on to kind of guide you 
he was no longer there for me, do you know what I mean? Um, and I had my older brother, my stepdad, um, and they kind of stepped into the role, but I was very close with my dad. He was the kind of, the guy that told me I could do anything that I wanted to do, the, the guy that took me to all my fitness classes, to football, to whatever I wanted to do, he'd support me in it. And he'd always say like, you can do whatever you want to do, you, as long as you put 100% into it. And then all of a sudden he was gone. My dad never even got to see me on TV. He never got to see me do The Jungle, which was his favorite show. He never got to see me win Dancing on Ice. Um, I did SAS Who Dares Wins and that was, a reason I took that is because my dad would have loved watching me do something like that. Like, he would have been laughing, saying, oh, pretty boy done good, do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, they're all the things that I do, but losing a dad at any age is hard. Is the training of a person to breathe? I'm always kind of, if I'm in a bad he headspace, for me, the best thing to do is go do a workout and I forget all about my problems because I'm too focused on what I'm doing there and then. So, whether or not it's going to the gym and doing a bit of kickboxing or wrestling or jiu-jitsu or going to lift weights. Like I do these things to, to step out of my head. That's the point. Don't put that on video because that's what my missus. <laughs> 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 uh, Andy Housen, I have been a fighter for Bad Company Gym in Leeds for probably about 25 years now. Um, I'm five-time world champion, WBC world champion in Muay Thai and now a coach out of Bad Company here in Majestic in Wigan as well. I help out with the lads here. Uh, fought and one championship, used to be a one championship time fighter and yeah, now Got to put up with that idiot a couple of times a week. Stop. Come on, push into it. Stop. Two. Oh, nice and long. One, two, hook. Hold up. Knee. How about that? Two. Stop. Stop. Two, hook. Fair play to him. I mean, there's not a lot of people that would be asked to just jump in and do a full pro rules MMA fight without any training. Well, at the, at, at, at the point of being told, asked to do it, not really having any training. Um, and obviously he's giving his purse away as well to charity. He's not doing it for any money, he's doing it for free. So yeah, um, props to him. There's not many people that do it, so fair play to the kids. <coughs> Work them hands. Boom, 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 boom. Chop the leg. Now, go. That's it. Go. One more. Good. Nice. On your back. Come on. Come on, let's go. One, two, three, four, eight. Nah, keep going, one, two, keep going, keep going, go. Up, back, back. Eight, two. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Nine. <clears throat> ten, go, oh, come on, ten more then, get a little rest, ten more then, a little rest. The easy ones are done with now. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Seven. Eight. <clears throat> come on, strong, strong, strong. Elbows in, elbows in. Nine. Ah, come on. Ten. Seventy. You got thirty more. Fuck off, you. <laughs> you have you doing hundred? You funny. Go. Three. Go, 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 go. Come on, strong, strong, strong. Nine. Straight back up now. Straight back up. Ten. Have a second. Stay there. Control your breathing. Last twenty. I want you bouncing straight back up off the floor. <laughs> Seriously, uh -huh. last 20, nice and strong, bouncing up off the floor, last round of fight and that, yeah? Ready? Up, one, now, two, seven, dig, 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 eight, ah. come on, Sit nine, ah. let's go, last 10, 100 coming up, go, one, 
two. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Strong now, strong. Straight back up, straight back up. Six. Straight back up, straight back up. Drive, ah, drive, drive, drive. Seven. Ah, come on. Come on, come on. Eight. Ah, let's go. Nine. Ah. One more. Keep Whoop. pushing, keep pushing. Ten. <laughs> Boom. Fuck off. With pleasure. <laughs> nice one, mate. Nice one. Uh, Come on, son. Yeah. Uh, that. Done for the day. Just gonna go and pick the kids up now. It's good that he lets you just kick and bare leg. Because, like, it's a weird feeling, uh, kicking someone. And the first time I'd done it, I was like, I, I was just like literally touching his leg, and he was like, fucking kick me in the leg. And I was trying, like, my brain couldn't get my head round kicking him in the leg full force. And I put then when there's a pad there, I can fucking hoof it. And he was like, well, what the, what the fuck are you doing? So, but I'm getting more used to like sinking that kicking and not holding it back. So I'm getting that conditioning on my legs as well. So hopefully when I kick it, Jake in the fight, it's not gonna like shock me, do you know what I mean? It'll shock him hopefully. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think they're gonna be a big weapon in the fight. Just those, those, um, cause they're not easy to take. It's, it's like he's, it's took him years to be, to condition to be able to take them. So yeah, uh, hopefully in the fight they'll be, one or two of them, and it'll be a, it'll, it'll shift the fight in my in my direction. So, see you guys next time. Next time on stage to the cage. Is it fucking raining? Got a Hawaiian shirt on. This show has sold out everywhere like this show's been going on for a full solid year now and it's still got until the end of november to go throw in just a little casual ever my fight <laughs> yes what's your name nathaniel dickhead <laughs>